Hey, 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 my name is Paul Sphinx and welcome to another episode of the Sibling Experiment. Yeah, my wake up call this morning was toned down a little from having Tyler jumping on the end of my bed. I didn't exactly want to be jumped on, and the rubber bands that were flicked in my face instead weren't that much better. One of these days I was definitely going to get him back. Huh. One of these days. Already setting into this family, Jess? What? What was important right now uh, was to understand what the hell was going on. Only then I'd be able to figure out how to tackle this. I thought I needed to speak with something Ryan, but in order to do that, I need to speak to Eric. How was I supposed to get any information out of him? The guy was as smart as a rock. Also, what would he think of me now? Tyre walked backwards in front of me, seemingly amused at my misfortune. Jeez, yeah, seriously, why don't you board? Why don't I what? Skateboard, I have a skateboard in your room. Oh yeah, now I remembered that tacky thing along with all that stuff that wasn't actually mine. Why didn't I use that again? Hm, maybe because it wasn't actually mine, not like I could tell him that. Have you really actually seen me skateboard before? Yeah, all the time, with Kate. Wrong as where... He seemed to rethink that. Uh, hold up, I don't know. The memory became fizzy all of a sudden. Well, take my word for it, I have it. I don't know how that thing got in my closet. Okay. He watched my uncle's swankly move in the hills. Ted drew in a sign and edge closer to me. You can lean on me on the way to school, but don't let anyone know that I'm helping you. Ever. I made it, Jazz. Uh, afraid to let people know you help your big sister? Big sister, huh? I was big sister now. Yeah. I'm not the guy who helps sisters. I grinned. My, my! I think you kind of are! Huh? You're mistaking me for some, someone who cares. He pushed me and even thought it was supposed to be a light push with my unsteadiness, it sent me top link. Eh? Uh, sorry, Jet. You idiot! Well, he still wasn't the worst brother ever. I was sitting in my homeroom when my friends cornered me all of a sudden. They certainly didn't seem much like friends in the distance for... Nice outfit! You think I would be able to tell if Sandra was mocking me by now, but for some reason I couldn't. In the case, I was going to take the compliment whether it was a compliment or not. Thanks! Did you get the top of sale or something? Get to the point, Sandra. Oh, we have quite a character here, everyone. She turns to her peers, our peers, and they share the fake luck. What is the point? Look, Jasmine, I'm a reasonable person, I can see that you. She pointed to my outfit of the day with her manicured polished finger. Have some potential. Potential, she said. So I decided to give you a trial run. Trial run. Yeah, meet me up with our group at the mall this afternoon. We'll see if you have what it takes to walk among us. Their group, we're talking about the shoppers. I was affronted. I was the one who came up with the name. The shoppers since, well, that was pretty much all we ever did. Really? Some probably thought I sounded flatter. The look on her face relayed that perfectly well. Of course, that's if you're only up to the shopper standard. Four o'clock at the phone time. Don't be late! We are not going for. I'll be there. And that was a lie. Oh, they wanted me to show them. I'll show them. Even if I should have been leaping for joy for the opportunity, I didn't know how to curb the unease in my stomach. It felt like the contents of it were being churned around in a big industrial bread making machine, which was odd because yet again I refused to eat breakfast that morning. Something about the way they looked at me just now wasn't quite right. It just was like them, but it wasn't right. They seem just condescending. I was going to be busy after school, so lunch was the only time I had to seeking out the oak that went by the name of Eric. I went to his part of the school that was reserved for the seniors and the juniors and waited around the corner with a bizarre feeling crept up in me. It had been there ever since this whole thing happened. 
but once again I shook it off as a paranoia. After a what felt like an eternity, Eric appeared lazily, ambling to his locker and scratching his long nose. I was just about to come out, out of hiding when I was jolted harshly by a bunch of people coming by. Hey, watch it! What the hell? Let me through! My view was completely obstructed by a blue jacket and red cap as Eric paid no mind to the commotion and strolled off. This is not the right way to go, Miss James! What are you talking about? Wait, James? Who are you? I'm under no obligation to answer your questions. That being said, it would be of your best interest to be cooperative with what you've been assigned to. Are you threatening me? I'm guiding you, be wise. I might just do that if I just know what the hell I've been assigned to. No sign never sign up to whatever the hell this is. You do know and you did sign up for it. I don't. And... We, he was gone. One he was here and I turned away for a second and then he was just gone. It was even possible for one to move that fast. It just left me a terrifying realization. I really had been watched. My eyes were on the jack and everything happened too fast for me to get my wits about me. Screw them, we are going to do this our own way. Hey, I didn't want to go there. Well, I was here at the mall, but those shoes had almost had it. The heel was wonky that I accepted now. I only wore them because I didn't have anything else decent enough and no credit card to get anything new. I sat there, uh, heels up, rubbing my itching feet. The shoes were on a serious slant and I played with one of them as time went on, snapping off the heel before it broke off itself. It became apparent after half an hour that nobody was going to show up. I checked it myself. How could it have slipped when that credit card less? Less than spectacularly dressed me than really fit in the leg? I have no idea. Not only was I full, but this whole new reality was kicking on top of me. Those bitches! Right now my tears were flowing down my cheeks like a freaking waterfall. Did they think this would be funny? I just couldn't believe it. I fell for it. I sensed something was up. I did. I did. I told you we are not going, but... You did whatever you wanted. Yet, I was here waiting like the real loser they had made me seem to be. What the hell is written on that wall? Amber uh, uh, something the fit? Uh, I was angry at them and perhaps myself too. Hey, the dress, nice to see you here. And uh, no, I'm not participating in any underage gambling. I looked up to Tyler standing in front of me with a bag of coins that he dribbled a couple of times. It's our total legitimate. This time. Sniffing, I looked back down again. I it only had just occurred to me that I'd been crying in a public place. I felt just pathetic now. His voice got a little softer as he saw my expression. Jess, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Are you hurt somewhere? Idiot, people cry because of emotions too. No, it's not that, it's just. I just realized now that I have no friends. Taylor looked at me seemingly uncomfortable. That's not really something we talk about. Why don't I have any friends? I don't know, you're a kind of lonely writer type, I guess. Hey, don't worry, it's not a bad thing. True. Why was I even asking him? He didn't even know me. It was a bad thing. Ah, I mean, it's good to have at least one person you consider a friend. All this time I had laughed at Eric for being socially inept and here I was waiting alone, crying alone at the mall for people who were having fun at my expense. Going back to the reason I was even here in the first place, I was going to win them back. Friends, some friends I had. Why? Why? Why don't you want new ones for? I mean, technically you already noticed that the ones from your past are bitches. And to think I was one of them. Had I really been such a nasty person? Yes! You don't get it, I've always had friends! I'm sure you have, Jess. He was screaming me, I didn't need to hear him screaming. I turned away from him, trying to show him how annoyed I really was. I know it will make you feel better. What? He put the coins down the fountain and pretended to pick up an object. It was apparent what that mind object was when he started to play a smooth air violin. What are you doing? What it look like I'm doing. Playing to a soft mode in my violin to ease your troubles. In the middle of a mode. He didn't stop uh, playing. Where else? I couldn't help but let out a snort as I grabbed his back coins, trading them for my shoes and took out some quarters to throw to the air busker. 
Hey, my video game money! Where'd you get this from and how? Another scam? That's for me to know and for you not to tell mom. Speed of mom, were you here to see her too? So mom worked in the ball, I wonder if she could get me a discount. No? Really? I don't think you normally hang out in malls unless you were coming to see mom at the dinner. Uh, at dinner. So I should have known by the uniform she wore that she worked in a dinner. I don't really see anything bad about it. I got stood up. Yeah, that you probably took one look at the face and made a scrum for it. <laughs> Come on, let's go wait for mom. You can tell her about all your shoe worries then. You know what? I'm glad Jasmine is is changing when this happens. There aren't any shoe worries. Huh? Okay, maybe, but do you think she would buy me some shoes? <laughs> oh, you were serious? Yeah, yeah, I was. I guess stranger things have happened. One good thing happened today. I got new shoes. Well, I got a new figure in, so one good thing happened here as well. <laughs> they weren't the most expensive, or even the nicest ones, but part of me was still quite pleased with them. Okay, I don't understand why would you, you know, mention they weren't the most expensive. I mean, just because they are expensive doesn't mean they are, like, nice to your eye. Or comfortable at all. Honestly, the most important part is for the most important part for the shoes is to be comfortable. Then you think about the looks. Okay, honestly, let's face it, everyone is buying differently. If you enjoy the look, you check if it's comfortable. If it is, it's fine. I understand why people buy shoes that are not comfortable for. Anyway, they were practical shoes too, comfortable for walking to school in. See? I wonder how these people did notice that none of the shoes I currently had fit me, but unless I was pretty proud of myself for being able to look at the bright side of things for once. Truly. On the other hand, I was troubled about the encounter earlier with that strange man. He spoke in such a matter of fact manner that it sent shivers down my spine just thinking back. The fact that I was being watched made it all the worse. What was this for? What could I have gotten myself into without knowing for the first place? Come to think of it, his face was somewhat familiar, for I couldn't recall when I would have met such a character. I think I know who that might have been. I dropped in on Tyler to clear my mind, and perhaps also because I didn't feel safe alone. And I like his room. That freaking Japanese style. Nice. I don't know if it was because he made me feel better this afternoon, or if it was just because he was the only person that I could talk to, but I had grown to trust him more than anyone I had come across. I peeked into his room. Hey, just checking up on you. Uh, why? Tyler was spread out in a massive room with papers all around him and the clunky old computer was left on in the corner. Seems like the others are surfing to do. Was this how it exit instead of just harassing me? Probably not, he wasn't that noble. Probably yes. Tyler pointed to two papers. I'm a little busy now. I've got to get through some me fifteen dollars and Jesse ten dollars before bed. Need help? I walked over to his computer and looked at the word document which was open. I figured I owe him, it was the least I could do after this afternoon. The Greek sacrifice for types of love, what's this for? Sami, why I love my goldy goldfish. Isn't that a little extreme for a goldfish? You think he needs to know whether he has Philo, Storage, Eros or Agatha love for his fish? Ancient Greek, huh? I think I remember this from Biblical studies. Eros is passion, Storage is to enjoy your like. Pilos is love for a family member or friend, and Agape is a selfless commitment. So, which do you think it is? I smart. Heh, that is for sure. I can cook you a poem for it. Not to my fish. My fish is such a dish. It could be this, or how I wish. His rhyming really sucked, but at least he didn't mock me. Unlike Eric. You're only getting 15 bucks for this. If it's money you want, why don't you aim for the cheerleaders or the shoppers? I could help but mention my former friend. Yeah, I wanted the affection of Sunder and Jen to be ripped off by Tyler. 
It was pleasing thought for, to me. It was obviously a pleasing thought to him too, with the way he was grinning. The dimpling history compressed again. Made me of three tomorrow. We've got work to do. We? I did not just agree to be part of Ham's coming enterprise. Huh? What's this? The, uh, that's not home world. Just some survey to the poetry club kind of earlier. I've always had those down quills. Quiz? Oh, hell, it was all coming back to me now. I was not just in the random target. I did. It here. You see now. Sign up for it. You see, back on the day Eric pissed me off with this two nails thing. I posted the blog, right? As I went to upload the video, I pop up over the screen all of a sudden. And, uh, another dump out about. Huh? The sibling experiment? Have a link, sibling! Wish you could swap place with someone who was a different sibling to yours! This experiment does just that! Swap only and see the world through the different eyes! Probably click the button here! What's this scam was this now? Was this a website? Another one of those stupid personality quizzes? I never heard of anything like this before. Let's see. Have an NLC sibling, which you could swap places with someone who has different sibling to yours. And that's just that. Swap only and see the world through different eyes. Great, I just read that. To get involved, oh, click the button here. I wasn't sure what to do, but this in fun, swapping families, huh? Was it going to be like The Sims? Would I get to generate family I actually want to be a part of? That didn't sound too bad. I had some time to spare at the moment. I could play around with this. Currently only available in Streetsvale. The only thing stopping me from clicking the button was the lack of information. Except for this mysterious note about the specific location. Fishy! But then again, it was just all fun and game, wasn't it? If it turned out to be real for God bless. Huh? I scrolled my cursor over the button in curiosity. A family generator. I thought back that to that unpleasant conversation with my mom and how dad just didn't seem to want to deal with any of us at all, such parents. The looks they were giving me, the irrational request of trying to understand Eric as if I was the one in the wrong. Eric. Yikes! Eric's snake face suddenly popped up in my head, almost giving me a fright. That dumbass. I still have no idea how, but even in my head, my, he managed to piss me off. All these years breathing the same air as him, I was coming closer and close to reaching my limit. Why did I have to deal with such a wreck of nature? Why? Absent-mindedly, I clicked the button. Oopsies, and it led to another plain page with a single question. Ah, uh, so it was a quiz after all. Okay then. Are you patient with your sibling? As much as anyone can be. Have you tried to love them? What else do you call tolerating their presence? Do you think you'd be happier in another family? I know I would. Pointless question. Please submit if you answer yes to all of the above questions. Well, that was easy and boring. Now what? Please wait 24 hours for a confirmation of your details and situations. After a proper time, the experiment will begin. Wait, what? No quiz results with useless advice telling me how to get along with my sweet brother? Yeah, it was kind of disappointing, actually. Confirmation though. I didn't send them any of my personal information. This sounded trippy. Wouldn't it be great if I could trade Eric for literally anyone else for? But well, whatever then. I went to bed imagining Eric being shipped off to hell where he would belong. Or maybe someone would come into our house, like in those reality TV shows, and teach Eric how to behave like a human being. Not only would that be amusing, that would also be helpful for our whole family. One could not be hope. And there we had it. This was messed up. This was just messed up. I felt like banging my head to the wall. It had been a few days, yet I was still here asking myself if this was really happening. So this was it. Why couldn't that just kick Eric out of the house and replace him with a new kid or even just teach Eric to be a decent human being like I thought? What sort of twisted logic was this? How did I even manage? Who would have thought this was what it would come down to when I submitted those last words? Was I regretting this? I didn't even know. I didn't even know how to feel or what to think about any of this. Hey, you okay? You've been staring at that sorry for like far too long. Interested? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Whoa, what? I never thought you were interested in poetry and stuff. But now that I look at it, you seem that I... What? Would this be permanent? Well, I'm going back to my room. I'm not tired. Okay. Lunch tomorrow, don't forget. I look back at Tyler, who was now preoccupied with the pile of homework that was his. Would I want this to be permanent? Shit. 
no matter how you look at it this would be this would be a freaking great way to get some income i'm kind of disappointed i haven't thought about it back in the school because i've more i mean except for high school but in primary school and junior high school i used to do homework basically immediately at school so making it there would mean i had like some free time at home not counting going to the football practices back there football slash soccer actually uh if you're from usa uh so yeah Shit, that would be a great way to pile up some money back in the day. Yeah, okay. I remember when... Yeah, I was so stupid when I was a kid. I remember when we were kids and Eric would always put up with me putting bows in his hair. Would Tyler have let me do the same? Well, it was a little hard to imagine. For the record, Eric didn't look hideous with bows and was actually a little around brother. I remember screaming at him like crazy when he wouldn't watch me parading my clothes when I was eight. I had gotten so used to him being patient watching, most because Eric the lethargic was a parent fixture on the couch. But still, he would actually applaud and encourage me. I used to feel like he cared, but then, what was this? Why was I thinking about him now? The next morning came around. The day passed in a blur and I didn't get any time during the day to figure out what I'd do next. I didn't even stop to think about any of this until then. It just sort of happened to me that it was the end of the day already. But the time I was back home, I was ambushed. Tyler's face sprang from of mine from out nowhere, making my textbook hit the floor of a touch. Hey, want to play street hockey? I was learning something new about my new brother all the time. Oh, one thing was for sure, he was something like couch potato rake, so that was pretty refreshing, I guess. Uh, I thought you played baseball. A ball in the bat can be very versatile. Something about the way he said that made me the slightest bit worried. So? I can't skate. Uh, that. He disappeared and reappeared months later with a pair of roller blades. Of course, something Ryan would have roller blades. Little Miss Tomboy seemed to own everything I didn't care about. Oh, of course you can. No, 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 already I... As I caught sight of his past face, I was overwhelmed with feelings of not wanting to mess them with him the way Eric did with me. We were getting along really well, and maybe if Eric hadn't been such an ass, I would have had a better relationship with him too. If only Eric tried to listen to me like Tyler did, if only. Well, on to the skating thing. Test lovey, as they say. Whatever that means. Can't I don't know French, guess lovely. What the fuck is that? Ah, c'est la vie, not c'est la vie. Well, goddammit, c'est la vie, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> Carpe diem, as they also seem to say. Okay, Carpe diem I know, right? That's like basics. I took the skates and put them on. I was really wonky on my feet when I tried to stand and I had to lean on everything to make it out the door. Through the front garage to out on the street I walked along, staying myself by using the hockey stick Tyler handed, handed me at the door. Tyler had no problems, he swiftly skated around, setting up both poles and then back to me. Come on, we've done the stunt for relax, don't keep it focused and bossy. Oh no! Hey no, I have some little idea what I'm doing! It's easy as you just go to the lean right. I bet my torso to the right and slip on my skates, falling to the side. Left and I grabbed him. Not right as in right opposite or left. Right as in correctly. It would have been easier if he just said so to begin with. My face was just burning as he pulled me up. Whoa. I felt my heart race just a little bit. From the fall on, from the way I was in such close proximity to him, I didn't really know. Later in my throat, I tried to keep my cool. For being cool was the last thing I was right now. My cheeks felt so hot that I swore that they could have been on fire. Eh, thanks. 
picking up the stick that had clung to the bitumen of the cool desk, he handed it back over to me. I put all my weight on the stick yet again, but still, he was pretty persistent. After walking from one goal to the other, he rounded on me. Are you ready to play? You just want to beat me, don't you? Maybe. Australians can be pretty... pretty competitive. Father, I seem to have missed out on that funny trade. If only he knew how funny it really was. Sure you weren't switched at birth? No, I would switch much later than that. <laughs> I was serious. He didn't think I was though. Not that I blamed him after all, who would believe me? I wondered what he'd say. I had finally been ready to tell him the truth too. He was already laughing at me, so it was a good time to say something. I could have just passed it off as an elaborate practical joke if I needed to. But the moment passed, the game had begun. I had missed out on the chance to win through the whole truth. Player glided around to the goals opposite to me. First one to score rocks the house. I stood there feeling about as useful as a beach volleyball set up in a fish tank and he started dribbling the ball my way. Jess, you have to move. Oh. I swam the spot, contemplating my next move, before wobbling forward and slipping in, my backside coping the brunt of it this time. Tarek Zaid noisily and skated over to me, offering another hand to hoist me up. Hey, you're more pa patient than you look. No one else would have guessed it. He had stains all over his clothes and was always fidgeting. You're less graceful than you look. <laughs> you think I look graceful? Uh, it was the close thing to a compliment I was going to get anytime soon, so I took it. Take it easy, Jazz. Okay. I was determined. Weird, I remember you being so bad at this. He skated toward me with a ball that I crunched, ready to hit back when he came close. But he slugged it past me, else thing I squeezed at my eyes to squeeze shut while the danger passed. I'm on my eyes again at the same time to start a fist pump in the air. Score one for Tyler, this great! The great! That's hardly fair! I sucked at this, and he was going to be as easy on me as he should have been. Hey. Dems the brakes. Now go and fetch the ball so I can continue with you. I rock on the roll brakes all the way to goal and put my stick out to the ball. Oh, we didn't make it cooperate. That was my one object of stability to knock at the ball. In hindsight, I would, it was probably not the best of the years. The ball slid towards and so did I. I love! He skated in front of me, only coming to rescue. This was the first time I was giving up after this. What's the magic word? Help me up or I clobber you with your own hockey stick! My knees really hurt and I tried to put a brother by the pain. That wasn't it. He smiled, but then a sad look came across his face. Must have noticed my pained expression. Oh, Jess, are you okay? I didn't want you to get hurt. Yeah. But my wings gave the lie away. He took pity and grabbed me by the arms, hoisting me in. I was surprised at how steady he was on those skates, even while tending to me. He helped me get back in on the couch inside and took off to grab the goals before someone else took off with them. So I read one of your poems. I mean, right. You don't think anyone understands you? You did! I wasn't angry. He didn't mean to make fun of me about it like Eric had. I don't know. It's more like no one ever tries to my parents on to my brother. I got it so older after forgetting that school my brother was supposed to be now. Sorry, I had no idea you feel that way. I'll try. I already tried, you know, but I'll try harder. Pinky promise. He held out the small finger on his left hand to me. I hooked nine with my own pinky. And next time, I'll teach you baseball. I wrapped my knee roughly. That's done. That sounds a hundred times better. It probably is. I mean, I don't know how to roller skate at all. Foot. I don't think it's that hard, right? It can be. Okay, I awoke grudgingly. I spent last night trying to clean up a little and make this place a little more. Could finally breathe in here. Not one was rest for work again. Hey, Jasper, I'm checking you on you before taking off. Oh, uh, you're going somewhere? Just need to arrive early for my shift. Better in a bit of a band. Susie so didn't show up again. Oh, 
and keeping responsible. I didn't know what else to say to her. She wasn't really my mom after all. It was good to get to school. Until I saw her. Thankfully she didn't stick around to torture me. That bitch. Tyler was starting to be spurned again. Not that I didn't appreciate it. After all, his way was much nicer than my previous brother's way of showing support. If this slope ever did intend to give me any. Tyler knew everything that went down with Sandra from what I told him. Hence why he was concerned for me right now. So why don't you try to get new friends? Older poets maybe? Remember to think about the poetry crop? Yeah, when Big Sot always is making new friends. I guess, but if you get yourself out there, you might start making new friends. Why are you so concerned anyway? That's on the girl. Was a really crowdy friend, that's all. I just think you can do better. I probably could do better all these years if I had thought about it. I thought it was good enough to be accepted, to be in the end torch of the great Harris. But no one cared, no one was ever a friend to me. Strip me off my last name credit card and I was nothing to them. It's funny how it had to take something this drastic for me to wake up to the blind reality I used to live in. Tyler still had his eyes on me expectantly. I'll give it a try. One step at a time for. Hey, that's alright, you know where I am if you need me. I beamed at him gently for the first time and felt warm inside. I don't know how long this would last, but I was going to treasure this. Nice. Alright. Actually, let's end the episode here. And in the next one, we'll continue and we'll check out where we can get with it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one, hopefully. Bye-bye.